What would you get out of that? Would how do you feel a first team offense perform? Uh, yeah, it was practice 15 for us. You know, I know we, everybody says it's a spring game, but at the end of the day, it's practice 15. We're trying to get a lot out of it, uh, trying to learn, try to uh, be efficient in what we're doing, and um, had a lot of fun out there. Uh, it was a little cold, a little windy, but uh, not ideal. But um, it was fun to be out there. Uh, good to score a few touchdowns and. Um, Good to see guys out there flying around. Coach talked about you being more decisive in your second year in the system and with this team. How do you feel you can do that? How do you learn how to do that and how do you implement it? Yeah, I mean, um, that's kind of the deal well, with me being more decisive, being more urgent, being more assertive in, in my game, in my daily walk, in this building every single day. And um, it comes with a lot of things. It comes with the reps. It comes with being more comfortable with, um, with what I'm doing, um, you know, cutting it loose in, in all areas on the field. And, um, yeah, and I'm excited to, to move forward and looking forward to the fall and being able to showcase to that. After a tricky situation. Oh, you feel like you took those steps this spring? I know it's something to talk about. Obviously. Yeah, you get 15 spring practices, and I feel like I got – I climb towards that more and more every single day. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to fall camp now and um, le obviously learn from spring, spring ball and learn, watch this film and uh, grow from that. But, you know, every single day I, I feel like I took steps in the right directions in that department. After a tricky situation last year, is it just fun to just get out there in a game-like situation and have a good time, have some fun? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's always good to be in the stadium with a lot of fans and um, have that environment. And it's kind of the, the first time of, of the year, so um, it was a lot of fun uh, being out there with with my guys and um, being able to be in control and be that leader for for them and be able to score, put some points on the board. Uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. Seems like you and Malik have had a had a pretty good connection today. What would you say? How how how's the connection developed over the over the offseason so far and into the spring now? Yeah, Malik has done uh, so well through these 15 spring practices. His second year um, is a really first spring, I think, and uh, you know he's he showcased his talents every single day. He's gotten better every single day, and he's been a great teammate. And uh, he, I mean, physically, he is he has every single tool that uh, you look for in a receiver. And uh, looking forward to uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know, he, he's going to be a big key effort in our offensive efforts this year, and uh, I'm glad he's on our team. Co Coach B said you had a chance to go back to the Manning camp, decided to stay here instead. Kind of talk about why, why did you decided to do that. Yeah, I've, I've been the last two years right. in Manning camp, and um, so it was a lot of fun, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of fun to be able down there with a lot of great quarterbacks, uh, a lot of kids who are trying to learn the game a little bit. And uh, like I said, being around a lot of great quarterbacks or have that fellowship and have that time. Uh, it's a special group, and being around the Mannings is, uh, you know, you know, a second to none opportunity in a um, uh, state of the art camp too. But I've been two years, and you know, I feel like this year, uh, you know, I want to be around my team a little bit more. Uh, have the opportunity to um, not get away, but uh, build, keep building what, what sure. we have here. Donovan connected on a couple throws over the top. What did you see from him? Yeah, I mean, I, I saw, you know, things that, you know, nobody was surprised about. Uh, you know, he's he's done so well through these 15 spring practices and has taken such a big jump. And uh, I think his confidence and his leadership and um, uh, he did, I mean, made some really pretty throws. And, uh, you know, through the, you know, the 14 previous practices, too, has uh, made some really awesome throws and taken some great strides. And. Uh, I love being in the room with him, uh, you know, conversating, bouncing ideas off each other and all the quarterbacks too. But um, Donovan, uh, special, special character and um, I'm glad, glad he's with us. How did you approach spring this year with a new group of receivers? You know, Isaiah and Casey aren't in that room anymore and you've, you've got to develop a totally new group of guys. Yeah, it's not easy. Uh, like, you, like you said, you lose, you know, your kind of key guys and Isaiah and um, uh, Casey and uh, luckily we have Pat back and a lot of young guys looking to step up. Some guys who played last year, Malik and Ashton and um, a couple of those guys. But it's uh, it's it's not easy. Um, you know, I think it just takes you know repetitions, uh, it takes off season work, you know, through the winter. And um, I think we got a lot of great work in um, through the spring and growing those connections. You know, learning those guys, learning how they come out of breaks, learning their speeds, learning their catch radiuses. There's so many different things, but um, you know, you develop that that confidence in that through winter workouts, through these 15 spring practices, and throughout the summer will will be a constant uh, you know area of growth too. What's that old line looked like in front of you so far? Uh, it's super strong. Uh, you know, got some guys returning, and Josh Krutz, Geski, you know, Zai Chrysler, um, and a couple other guys, and who have played. And I think we have a lot of depth. Um, the guys who are 
you know, just football junkies, guys who are students of the game and um, guys who have a lot of production too. So um, I'm super confident in, you know, being back there behind those guys and, uh, you know, their abilities and uh, their knowledge of the game is uh, only gives me confidence. So um, looking forward to, you know, working with them and, uh, you know, being their leader. Ask Coach Wani how the 2024 offense is different than last year's. How, how do you think it's different than, than last year's offense? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's always things you'll do differently, things you'll do the same from one year to another. And Coach Wani has done great with, uh, you know, facilitating what we're doing and in different ways, whether it's, um, you know, our different run schemes, different pass schemes, protections, and things like that, just playing to our strengths as, as a team, whether it's playing to my strengths or playing to our, uh, our strengths out wide, a receiver, running back O-line. Um, he's done a great job, and um, we'll continue to work together to, uh, you know, kind of play to our strengths, and I think he's done um, awesome at that, and I've loved being, you know, kind of uh, the guy that, that operates his system. When you arrived here, it wasn't like you had never played before, but in year two now, a very system, do you find yourself gaining more and more confidence? Yeah, this is kind of the first time that, you know, I've had a coordinator kind of back-to-back -back, uh, at Ole Miss. I had two different ones. And, right. um, you know, kind of year two with Coach Lenny, understanding what he's trying to get done, uh, Coach B as well. And, um, you know, having that comfortability of, you know, kind of the ins and outs of our offense, the verbiage, the, you know, the, the route detail, the protections, the uh, my footwork and things like that. Uh, it only gives me confidence to, to go out there and operate and understand really what's going on to a deeper level. What's next? Um you know, what do you do between now and fall camp to stay sharp? Uh, you know, I've, this is my fourth year going into it, so I uh, kind of have a routine of, you know, kind of what I do in the summer with, you know, my throwing, you know, my, my weightlifting, and conditioning, things like that, and, you know, kind of being growing. Uh, most importantly, as a leader and growing my intangibles uh, will be, uh, you know, a step that I take that uh, will be a big one. Is, is there one thing on the top of your list, next 